Order, Honorable Senators. Now, the grounds for removal are as follows. One, gross violation of the Constitution and other laws. Senator for Makoeni, stick to your seat, please. The particulars of this allegation are that the Governor did the following. Violated Articles 10, 10 to 27, 41, 47, 73, 232, 235, 236, and 251 of the Constitution by illegally revoking the appointment of CPA Virginia Kawira Miriti as Secretary stroke CEO of the Meru County Public Service Board without the requisite vote from the County Assembly, thus, thus usurping the powers of the Assembly. Two, breached sections 10, 15, 19, and 24 of the Public Officer Ethics Act 2003, sections 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 1B, and F, 21, 29, and 52 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012, and section 4 of the Public Appointments County Assembly's Approval Act by failing to appoint the chairpersons of key county boards and allowing unauthorized persons to oversee public funds without proper accountability. Three, refuse to implement the recommendations and resolution of the County Assembly on the dismissal of the County Secretary, Dr. Kiambi Atheru Tambura, and the Chief of Staff, Mr. Harrison Gatobu Nchama Mbithi, for gross violation of the Constitution and other laws and fail to submit a report to the County Assembly on the implementation of the said resolutions of the Assembly in direct violation of Article 183, 3 of the Constitution. And four, illegally dismissed Dr. Nitoiti, CEO of the County Revenue Board, Paul Mwaki, CEO of Lika Board, Kenneth Kimanthi Mbae, Managing Director of Meru Microfinance Corporation, and Joseph Kithure Mberia, CEO of MEWAS, contrary to the provisions of the Meru County Revenue Board Act and the Meru County Investment and Development Corporation Act thereby leading to significant financial penalties by the Employment and Labor Relations Court against as the county government on account of legal costs and damages. Two, gross misconduct. The particulars of this allegation are that the governor, one, misled the public by falsely claiming that 86 million was raised through a pay bill number after the murder of Daniel Muthiani, alias Snipper. Sniper, while the actual amount raised was Kenya shillings to 86,516 in violation of the Public Officer Ethics Act and the Leadership and Integrity Act. Three, abuse of office. The particulars of this allegation are that the Governor, one, authorized irregular payments of emergency call allowances to 161 doctors and medical officers using the wrong rates, resulting in an overpayment of Kenya shilling 74 million 340,000 contrary to the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act and other re relevant laws. Two, use the manual payroll to pay personal em emoluments amounting to Kenya shillings 1 or 2 million and 94 shillings contrary to established financial regulations in section 6.7.6 .6 of the County Financial Accounting and Reporting Manual. Three, employed a bloated workforce of at least 111 personnel in the office of the governor, increasing the county wage bill beyond the legal limit in violation of the Public Finance Management County Government's Regulations 20, 2015. And four, continued to pay full salaries and benefits to a public communication officer accused of murder in violation of the Public Service Commission Discipline Manual for Public Service. Honorable Senators, annexed to the letter conveying the decision of the County Assembly were the following documents. One, copy of approved notice of motion, the motion, dated 31st of July 2024, laid on the table of the Assembly on Wednesday, 31st of July 2024, afternoon sitting. Two, copy of exhibits laid on the table of the Assembly on Wednesday, 31st July 2024, afternoon sitting. Order papers for the assembly sittings of Wednesday, 31st July 2024, afternoon sitting, Tuesday, 6th August 2024, afternoon sitting, and Thursday, 8th August 2024, morning sitting. Certified Hansard reports for the assembly 
uh, assembly sittings of Wednesday, 31st of July, 2024, afternoon sitting, Tuesday, 6th of August, 2024, afternoon sitting, and Thursday, 8th August, 2024, morning sitting. Copy of a later date, the 31st of July, 2024, reference number MCA, stroke GC, stroke volume 1, stroke 24, inviting the Governor of Meru County to respond to the tabled impeachment motion. Affidavits of service. Copy of affidavit of service by Mr. Benson Kinyongure, serving Her Excellency the Governor of Meru County with an invitation letter and a copy of the laid notice of, notice of impeachment motion on behalf of the Speaker, County Assembly of Meru. Copy of affidavit of service by Mr. Joel Maitehia Morkunga, serving Her Excellency the Governor of Meru County with a copy of a laid notice of impeachment motion on behalf of Honorable Zipporah Kenya and see copy of a letter dated the 6th of August 2024, reference number MCA stroke GC stroke volume 26, for, uh, forwarding to Her Excellency the Governor a copy of the late report on the public participation on the notice of motion. Certified copy of a form for verification of signatures for members in support of, of the motion for removal of the Meru County Governor by impeachment dated the 8th of August 2024, made pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 65-4. Certified copy of the roll call vote on the motion for impeachment of Her Excellency Governor Meru, Governor Meru County held during the assembly sitting of Thursday, 8th of August 2024. Documents table during the debate on the motion for removal of the Governor Meru County by impeachment. Appointment letter for one, Matiri Kenneth Mutua, dated 13th of February 2023, reference number CGM, stroke CBSB, stroke apt, stroke volume 3, stroke 2023, into brackets 2022. A copy of a letter dated the 6th of August 2024, reference number CAM, stroke GN, stroke volume 7, stroke 40. C, copy of a letter dated 31st of July 2024. Reference number CGM stroke CS stroke CA023 stroke 26 volume 1.3 into brackets 390. D copy of a letter dated the 7th of July 2024. Reference number CAM stroke GEN stroke volume 7 stroke 39. A copy of a letter dated 15th of July 2024. Reference number CGM stroke CS stroke CA volume 3 stroke 0. 23 stroke 382. F copy of a letter dated the 31st of August 2023. Reference number CAM stroke GEN stroke volume uh, 6 stroke 187. G copy of a letter dated the 31st of August 2023. Reference number CAM stroke GEN stroke volume 6 stroke 188. H copy of a letter dated the 20th of July 2023. Reference number CAM stroke GEM, uh, volume 6 stroke 168. And lastly, a copy of a letter dated the 18th of June 2023. Reference number CGM stroke CS stroke CA stroke volume 1 stroke 023 stroke 17. Evidence of public participation. A. Jehua Technology Flash Disk 32 GB containing video next year's evidence in the particulars alleged in the motion, as well as, vo as video voice adverts on the public participation on the motion run on various radio and TV stations. P, pictures and videos of various public participation for are held on Monday, 5th of August, 2024, contained in the accompanying flash desk. C, copy of public participation report dated the 6th of August, 2024, and laid on the table on Tuesday, 6th of August, 2024. That is the after afternoon sitting. D, written stroke printed memorandum from different wards and regions submitted to the county assembly during the public participation exercise on the motion submitted both in support and against the motion. The memoranda inclusive of submissions received via email. Minutes, attendance, registration sheets, and registration forms for memorandum of the public participation held on Tuesday, 19th of December, 2022. Soft copy of the third edition, standing orders of the County Assembly of Meru contained 
in an accompanying flash disk. Honorable Senators, in terms of the way forward, following the reading of the charges against the Governor, Standing Order 81B of the Senate, Standing Orders, as read together with Section 33.3B of the County Governments Act, give the Senate two options on how to proceed with this matter. The Senate may, A, by resolution, appoint a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter, or B, investigate the matter in plenary. The Senate Majority Leader will, at an appointed time, during this sitting, give a notice of motion for the establishment of a special committee. Should this motion be carried, should this motion be carried, the special committee will be required under Section 33.4 of the County Governments Act and standing order 82 of the Senate to investigate the matter and to report to the Senate on whether it finds the particulars of the allegations against the Governor to have been substantiated. In the event that the motion of the establishment of the special committee does not pass, the fallback position is that the Senate shall proceed to investigate and consider the matter in plenary. In this event, I will appoint the dates on which Senate will sit in plenary to hear and determine the charges again as the Governor. Honorable Senators, it is noteworthy that I wish to emphasize to all Honorable Senators that when we come to the debate on the motion for the establishment of the special committee, Debate on the motion shall be limited to the substance of the motion, principally whether or not to establish a special committee. It will not be a debate on the substance of the impeachment or its merits, propriety, prudence, or even the constitutionality or the legality of the processes that have preceded the submission of this matter to the Senate. It is therefore not permissible to deviate to any issues other than motion before the Senate. In the meantime, and during the pendency of the impeachment process in the Senate, I wish to caution honorable senators to desist from publicly commenting on the merits or demerits of the impeachment motion before the Senate. Doing so will amount to anticipation of debate, which is an infringement of Standing Order 99. Therefore, it shall be out of order within the meaning of Standing Order 122 for any senator to make comments, whether written or spoken, in any relation to the conduct of the governor or the impeachment process, which is outside the confines of the impeachment proceedings, as such comments may prejudice the just outcome of the process. Honorable Senators, this is the fifth impeachment hearing in the 13th Parliament, and the third one involving the governor in question. In undertaking this mandate, the Senate will be sitting as a quasi-judicial body, a quasi-judicial body, and will conduct investigations into the alleged infractions of the Constitution and the law, and thereafter make its determination on the matter. As such, this is a reminder that the impeachment hearing is not just a procedural formality, but a fundamental process that plays a crucial role in upholding the principles of democracy and good governance. This hearing is one of the most crucial oversight tools and singular rules of the Senate. Honorable Senators, obviously, this matter is one of immense public interest. I wish to emph emphatically reaffirm that the Senate will deliberate and reach a decision on this case purely based on its merits. The Senate will uphold the integrity of this process by ensuring objectivity and will not be influenced by external pressures or undue influence from parties outside this chamber. I conclude by urging all Honorable Senators to exercise the highest level of responsibility on this particular matter. I thank you. Next order.